In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Photomontage. Photomontage is a set of generators that allow you to create stunning picture slideshows. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but Photomontage works in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. Photomontage is located in the Generators browser. There are 20 different generators to choose from. Let's take a look at some of them. I like this one called Origami. I'll drag it to my timeline. What loads are some default Apple images, but you can get a feel for what this generator will do. Create a slideshow from your pics with the FX Factory Pro Origami transition between each slide. From the on-screen controls, I'll click Choose Images. It'll ask you to pick a set of image files to be animated. Once you've done that, the Edit Images window appears. Here I can change the generic file names to the titles I'd like for on-screen text. I can reorder the pics via drag and drop. At any time, I can use the plus or minus buttons to add or delete photos. Plus, a double click on the photo itself opens it in preview if I'd like to do any editing. Under the cropping setting, I could choose how each individual photo should be displayed on my timeline, since my HD aspect ratio is different than that of these images. Scale to fit or scale to fill. I'll leave these set to default as I'd like to see them on the timeline first. I'll click OK to load this up. From the on-screen controls, there are a few presets we can choose from. I like the movement in this pan and zoom with square preset. Let's use it as a starting point and tweak it from there. Before I do anything, I'll uncheck loop. I'll twirl down the origami controls. Here the corner selection is set to cycle corner clockwise. Let's change this to random corner. I'll twirl down the geometry section where all of the scaling controls are. This is set to randomly move and scale the images. We have specific control over all the minimum and maximum movements, but I'll leave these alone. I will change the animate when parameter to only during pause, which makes the images move, then fold. Under the effect parameters, I'll check the vignette box and then adjust it with the vignette parameters that appear. We have further effects like sepia and duotone, but I'll leave this set to none. I'll turn on titles in the titles category. We have two options, show relative to frame, which will have static titles on screen, or show relative to image, where the titles will be attached to the images. I like the first option better, so the titles float above the folds. And, of course, we have extensive control over color, font, and placement of the text, both in the parameters and in the on-screen controls. Photo Montage gives you some quick but powerful photo animations. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.